Well, let's stay with politics uh, for a moment. And if you thought the term coalition was a dead duck, then think again. Labour has just lost overall control of Stoke City Council to a newly formed coalition of Conservatives, UKIP and Independent Councillors who have a majority of just one. Our Staffordshire reporter Liz Copper has been getting reaction to the changing political landscape in the city. For so long, the streets of Stoke-on-Trent have been seen as a Labour stronghold. But now the party's lost control of the council here and a coalition is about to take charge. Of course we love our critics, of course we will. But let them judge us as we go on. Uh, there will definitely be changes. And uh, let's hope the people of this city give us a thumbs up. In the town centre of Tunstall, voters are proud of the city's heritage. But there's also a sense they think it's time for change. Something different. You never know, things might be better. Because they can't get any worse, really, can they? It needs such a big change. A big change. Whether it needs new blood, I don't know. But they've got to have new ideas from somewhere. How it was run before, it, to me personally, I think it was, you were wasting the money more. When in power, Labour approved multi-million pound plans to build these new offices in the city centre. It was a controversial move. Nobody from Labour was available for interview, but the coalition partners say they'll now be reviewing the future of this project. I think we'll be looking for a way to um, best reclaim perhaps the cost that's gone into those buildings um, and put it back into value for money services for residents, really. This is a coalition drawn from across the political spectrum, but all parties agree the city needs stability. The majority this coalition has couldn't be slimmer, so votes on key policies will be close. They'll also be closely watched. This is a new era in politics in this city, and it promises to be eventful. Liz Copper, BBC Midlands Today, Stoke-on-Trent. It's 16 minutes to seven. This is our top story tonight.